Good morning. Fun flow into US dollar and US, US treasury markets. While most stock markets and commodity price fell last Friday, reflecting market risk at first, sentiments increased. In fact, global stock markets has already accumulated significant gains since Biden won the election in early November. Certain profit-taking pressure is expected in short term. However, mainland investor net inflow was more than 130 billion Hong Kong dollar year to date, which will provide support to Hong Kong stocks. Hansa Index is likely to oscillate at current level. Major resistance will be at 29000. Hong Kong stock connect net inflow remained strong at 14 billion Hong Kong dollar last Friday, of which net buying concentrated on Tencent and Xiaomi. In fact, Tencent has hit new high last Friday, which will likely to continue to be market focused in short term. On the other hand, China Merchant Bank and China Industrial Bank Q4 results post strong growth. Major China banks' full year profit could stay flat, beating market expectation. Given low valuation and relatively high dividend yield, mainland bank sector is likely to remain strong in near term. For today's topic is China Education Group 839. The company announced Guangzhou University, Chongqing College and Chongqing Nanfang Translator College of Sichuan International Studies University has recently received approval from the Ministry of Education. They are approved for conversion from an independent college into a full private university. Conversion will reduce management fees and expand profit margin. As of August 2020, the company holds 4.4 billion renminbi cash. Fund is sufficient to support active M&A, and track record shows that its strong execution ability and outstanding M&A record. In terms of valuation, FY21 prospective PE is around 22 times, which is lower than last five year average, valuation is attractive. Target price is 17, cut loss price is 13.8. Thank you.